to Destination Awesomeness. Indeed, I have to say a huge welcome to you, Siva. Welcome back to the show. We missed you so, so much. And as you mentioned today, we speak all things that have to do with real estate. And in the studio with us today is Kevin Jacobs, as well as Chase, Chelsea, Benete. They work in real estate and they're going to be talking to us about their real estate journey and anything and anything you need to know about real estate. So, ladies and gents, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. No, thank you so much. It's awesome to be here. Firstly, I want to find out, how did you get into real estate? Me? Yes. Um, well, I started off in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> really? Everybody starts in the bank, when, or back in my day. So, yeah. started off in the bank and, um, you know, through, through banking, got to experience uh, the real estate journey with a lot of our clients who were real estate professionals. Mm. And uh, it really appealed to me right from the beginning and something I wanted to get into. So, yeah. it started in the bank and I just here now. evolved into real estate. Yes. Chelsea, what about you? For me, I actually studied first and okay. about halfway through I realized it's not for me. I need to be out there with people. Mm. It's all about that people interaction for me. Yeah. So I was at another company and then recently made the move to Remax Premier. Mm -hmm. Best decision of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Firstly, I want to find out, because I usually watch a lot of TV and I see a lot of real estate like shows and it's like people making deals, signing off. It just looks so fun. But I'm sure there are a lot more elements that go into real estate than what we see. So please talk to me about that. Yeah, no, definitely for sure. So what you see on TV, that's yeah. just a lot of razzmatazz and shovels. Literally, <laughs> razzmatazz. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's a lot more to it than just that. Mm. Um, Firstly, it's important that you have to, as a real estate agent, you have to get qualified and mm. you need to uh, do your qualification mm. and uh, be accredited to the PPRA, which is a lot of work. Mm. A lot of people don't understand that. Mm. So, you know, most agents will take about a year to two years to get their, their qualification. Wow. Uh, unfortunately, some people take a little bit longer than yeah. that. But, um, you know, to get your qualification is, is very important. Mm. Uh, once you've got your, your qualification, uh, but during that process, mm. you do your internship mm -hmm. and um, you identify where you fit mm. and what kind of markets you would like to service and how you would like to help people. Because that's yeah. really what it's about. It's yeah. about, you know, helping people. You change lives as mm. a real estate agent. We're actually very lucky. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a very fortunate position to be in and it's... You know, I know a lot is made about the money and yeah. all of that, but um, if you look at the blood, sweat and tears that mm. goes into being a, a real estate agent yeah. and investing in relationships with your clients, um, getting to know the markets, yeah. all of those kind of things, it's a, it's a lot of work. Yeah, and let's dive into that actually. Tell me about your company. You can start us off, Chelsea, about what it is that you guys do, because obviously we know that you guys are helping people find their homes, and that is a very yeah. important thing. That's like one of the best things you can make in general in life that makes you happy. So what is your company all about? So at Remax Premier, Kevin puts a huge focus on the culture mm -hmm. and the camaraderie among, amongst colleagues. Mm -hmm. And that allows us to convey that to our clients as well. Right. Uh, so it's actually, we all become family at the end of the day. Okay. It's colleagues, clients, everyone, one big family. And that's truly where we can feel that human connection. And that's what it's all about. And then so first and foremost, I want to understand how you work. Let's say I want to buy a home. So I Google you guys. Okay, I want to go to Remax. So I contact you. And then from there, what happens? Well, there are lots of different Remaxes. Okay, got the you. The right <laughs> Remax to contact is Remax Premium. Okay, got you. Yes. And um, then? Yeah, so you would make contact. Uh, firstly, the, real, the, the important thing is you, you need to identify where you would like to live mm. um, and what you can afford. Mm. And uh, do your research be, before taking on an agent. In fact, what, what people should do, they should interview agents mm, and see which one fits you. Got yes. you. Find one that, that you feel that you can trust and develop a relationship mm. with and obviously one that has got the right stock that mm. you're looking for. Mm. And, um, you know, there are so many real estate professionals out there, lots of good ones with lots of different companies. Yeah. Um, I like to believe my agents are the best. <laughs> I think they are. But um, there's lots of very good people and, yeah. and you need to find one that firstly is qualified, mm. uh, needs to be qualified, needs mm. to be registered with the PPRA, which is very important. Yeah. And one that you know that you can trust uh, to find your most prized home. possession, you know, buying a home is a big thing. It's it really is. Do you ever feel pressure though? Because I mean, people are coming to you uh, to buy their home and we all said like it's a really important thing. It's the place that they go to after work. It's the place that they can feel like this is mine. So that must feel like a huge thing. It's like I have to find you the perfect home. Do you ever feel that pressure where it's like, oh man, we really need to make sure that these people are happy or actually every single customer that we have has to walk out here feeling satisfied and, and happy with the product? 
Do you so ever take that pressure upon yourself? There's definitely pressure, but if you get to know your clients and their needs, it actually becomes quite easy at the mm. end of the day. Mm. It's just about matching the right buyer, the right seller, the right property. Yeah. And it becomes quite seamless once you actually have that connection with your clients. Mm. And then if someone maybe is like Chelsea and wants to join Remax, is there a way in which we can, uh, you're helping new agents hop on? Is there a system that you have? Or it's like, now we're okay. We don't need anybody else. Okay, so, you know, I must just say, when I, when I started, yeah. but I just want to go back to what Chelsea said. Yes, okay, of so, it's not just about a house. Mm. Um, a house is the, the final step mm. to, to where you want to go. But mm. it's, you know, it's about relationships. Mm. It's about getting to know people, mm. finding out exactly what it is that they want. And the reason they want it, because mm. very often it's about placing children in a school, mm. you know, your first time home. And um, as a real estate agent, it's important that you understand your client's needs and Absolutely. that you have that connection. Mm. So, the finding the home in the end is is um, the easy part everything yeah. up until until that mm. in terms of relationships and everything that's a difficult thing yeah. so and uh, my age, I, I must just tell you that real estate um, if you look at the stresses um, you know there's a lot of depression in real estate because people invest in these relationships absolutely and sometimes you can help a client and sometimes you can't yeah and um, the pressure there's a lot of pressure on real estate agents to perform yeah. not only because they only earn commission but because they also develop those relationships with absolutely. people so Okay, so going back to your training No, program. but you can answer that question a little later on. Unfortunately, I have to cut you because mm -hmm. our time is up for now. But don't worry, guys. Chelsea as well as Kevin are going to be in the studio again.